Hello. And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions, or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Oh, this is on a timer. Um, Rosen. I wanted to. I just didn't didn't have time. You know, I had to work all summer. Ah, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Whoa! Careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro. Be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. 
Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Hey! Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Ah... Uh, TBH, I kind of have a thing with, uh, seasickness. Brad, Bradley, Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Mm, no. Nah, man, you, you really, really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks. <laughs> so yourself, you ever do any diving before? Nope. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. You're gonna be gentle. Uh... What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Uh, optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, I freaking nailed it, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So? So, the B-29 is a super fortress. 
During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. They and were just like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope. Oh my God. Sorry, yeah, uh, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please keep going. Uh. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck? Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh, no, yeah. Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? I am going to do some reading up on B-29s. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Am I free to walk around now? Ah, hello everyone and uh, welcome to the second part of Man of Medan. Wow, what a long intro. Holy hell. Um, so yeah, I am being, I am trying to be cautious with my decisions. Um, trying to be a bit thoughtful. What is this? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Uh, just ocean. Okay, I will try to catch up with my brother. Uh, yeah, so yeah, the narrator at the beginning of this episode. Um, if I remember correctly... Uh, this should be the the psychic uh, psychic mm, the, um, the 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 doctor from the from um, from until dawn but I'm not sure about this uh, hey hey hi sweetie hi almost got the gear good to go mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh need a hat Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Mmm, supportive. Seriously, where does she get off bitching about us? She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Uh, ugh, fly. Uh, hey, Conrad, you dick. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. I'll take a look. Uh-huh. Huh. Uh-huh. Rocks. More rocks. Plane. Ah, uh, more plane. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I see. There's a hole in the tail. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Captain. Oh, cap. My captain. Let me talk to you. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... 
We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. I'm expert, but you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Okay. Come on. You see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. We try. Uh, no, no, oh crap. Yo, uh, little bro. No. Uh, okay. Hello. How's it hanging, sport? Man, Dudes, still can't believe we actually found the plane. Uh, yeah, let's be impressed. I honestly wasn't sure we would. Totally. I mean, what were we going on? A wing and a prayer? <laughs> and a little web surfing? Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. Uh... Uh, let's go well, for the yes if there is anything cool down there, I'll nab it for you. Just don't let Captain Killjoy find out. I get Fliss has a rule, but man, it'd be cool as hell just to get my hands on some little relic from my first wreck. Don't forget the camera. Picks or it didn't happen. Um... Yeah, compassionate. Whatever we bring up, we'll go through it all together and you'll tell me what I got, okay? Dope. So when do you say dope? Since I realized it was like tight, fresh. Welp. See you later. Sure. Thanks for checking in. <sighs> well, it was a bit odd. <laughs> okay. A lock room. Well, it's her ship. You can. She can lock whatever she wants to. What's in here? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Oh, perfume. Oh, oh, oh. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. A book. Shroud of Innocence. A must read. Uh, for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Ah, okay. Maybe, I'm not so sure, maybe this is where, li because Little Hope uh, is about witch trials and witch hunts um, around that time. So, maybe this is a hint. I'm looking for a I'm seeing a picture. Because if you get pictures, you can get back to the narrator room and then have hints that can lead you, that can help you. Yeah, and they glow like that. Huh. What am I looking at here? Boom. Uh, you have to read them right, you could say. Because if you see pictures, they will tell you the future. Wait, I want to have a look at this. Ah, nice and warm. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Okay, sorry. Hi. Okay, so this is the rebreather way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. 
Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Me is a nice one. Looking for a first mate, Captain. Uh, what is this? Uh, the boomstick. Let's take the boomstick. I don't. Oh crap! I should have got the camera. I got the bank stick. Good to go. Heard that about you. Ha ha. Just remember the rules. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Nope, I will take the camera as well. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Oh, <laughs> okay. Looks expensive. Probably is. He saw a shark. She bet Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. Pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client. Is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Um, uh, no, Pass. I'm responsible. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Mm, nah. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Sure. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. The Duke. Uh, in case you're wondering, the the big the big war boat is named Man of Medan. That is why this game is called like that. Ah, uh, nice tattoo you got there on the leg. Beep. Weather looks clear. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Yeah. Look for storms. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. Uh, yeah, there's another boat. Full name of... Wow, what the hell? How do you pronounce it? Felice? 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 Uh, sure. Brown eye color, brown hair color. The instructor identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes in the designated specialty. Yes, as sanctioned by Dive Master Federation. Uh, Federation, what the fuck? Expires soon. Always. Was that fake? Hello? 
and have another look at that picture. Oh, no inside again. But it was this boy on this boat. Hi. Hi. Hey, you okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Hope they know what they're doing. Concerned. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Uh, what other divers? Are you close with your brother? No. Surprised. What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur. But I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. No more chit chat. Ah, this is my boat. I could go into that. Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh, there's another picture. Very nice. Why do I keep these around? A gun. Well, this is a ship. Isn't that normal? <laughs> Can I enter this? No. Can I look through the stuff of other people? Ha. Ah. I'm gonna steal your stuff. Hmm. Let's have a look at the book again. Creepy book. Okay. She has nothing to say about that. Well, okay. There isn't anything else here, right? No. Oh, okay. Gotta get up top. I guess we could have a look through those. I hear a boat. Do I? Yeah! Right there. Huh, but we are done for this episode again because we are already at 28 minutes. Um, and this is, I think, a good time to save because now I can stop the game. Um, I really hope you didn't... Well, what the hell. I really hope you did enjoy this game. If you did, consider leaving a like and let me know your opinion of this game so far in the comment section below. I really hope to see you in the next one. Whoa, no, 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 no! <laughs> What's that about? I don't know. Uh, uneasy. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. Mm -hmm. How should we handle this? Okay, we will do this now. Uh, this feels off. No, let me be quiet. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. I'm the captain. You got that? Here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Dumbass. Ah. 
Okay. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, Scary stuff? really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on ya, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Yes. Can I please stop this? Okay, I will... I will just pause this here. Um... Because I don't know when I have the option uh, to, to pause and end this episode. Um, because I will do right now. I really hope you did enjoy this. And uh, hopefully I will see you in another video. And until then. Bye bye.